Yes, and we are back as promised with tomorrow, Why in the Morning? And this is Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Mo Navy, social media platform. Talking about social media, White 54 is on social media as well. As always, on White 54 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White 54 on Facebook. And on Facebook, we have the question of the day. And the question is simple Do you prefer shopping at malls or at your local shop, and why? Do you prefer shopping at the big shopping malls or at the small local? shop and why you uh, you head straight to our Facebook and tell us uh, which one is your preference then we'll be sampling your feedback uh, towards the end of the show uh, my guest the first guest of the day goes by the name John and he had an idea in 2013 uh, which <coughs> He could only achieve uh, in 2018 and is still in the process of achieving it and uh, is here to share the story with us uh, the founder of Shikilia stores Karim oh, San. Yes. Thank you, sir. All right, your camera is number four. Mm -hmm. uh, kama kuna kitu nimehata, uh, you can add on to it. No, I'm actually John Kehara. Uh -huh. My real name. Uh, most of the people know me as JB, as uh -huh. a nickname. Yes, I'm the founder of Shikilia Store, mm -hmm. uh, which is an idea that I got in 2013, mm -hmm. but I could only actualize it in 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think I'm, I'm blessed to have started it. All right. It's basically it's a convenience hub in the CBD. Convenience hub in the CBD. Yeah. All right. So Shiglia Stores is the name uh, of the of the convenient hub. Uh, yes. Did when you came up with the idea, did you come up with the name as well, or the name came about later? No, I think who started this idea? The idea I actually had a struggle of settling on the name because I actually mm -hmm. had several that uh -huh. I thought could fit in the name uh -huh. in the business. Uh -huh. uh, but with guidance of few three people here and there, uh -huh. I settled with the Shikilia store. And actually, Shikilia store, store name. Uh -huh. I'm not the person that came up with. It's uh -huh. my partner that came up with it. Wow. Yeah, because we right, had So there's a there. partner as well, so there's more to this story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so she clear store, this is the third year, right? This is our second year. We are, turning, year. we are turning two in April. Turning two in April. Yeah. You're celebrating your second birthday. Yeah. And there's a lot to celebrate as well. A lot. All right, so she, uh, maybe you can describe Shikilia Stores in a nutshell. What does Shikilia Stores do? Uh, Shikilia Store, mm -hmm. is a, as I said, is a convenience hub. It's mm -hmm. normally a place, a storage facility. Mm -hmm. So in the CBD and you have luggage with you, you really don't have to talk with them in town. You mm -hmm. just come, drop your luggage with us. Mm -hmm. You do your sugar and come at, and come pick it later. Mm -hmm. At a very small fee, for mm -hmm. as low as 25 shillings per hour, you can work with in CBD free hands. Mm -hmm. uh, we also rent spaces to the to online business people. Mm -hmm. You get a space for as low as three thousand per month and keep your stock. Mm -hmm. And uh, anytime you make a sale, you just mm -hmm. tell your customer to come collect the item from Shikilia. And right. that gives you the chance that you can make sell or do business in Nairobi mm -hmm. as much as maybe you don't stay in Nairobi. Right. As a matter of fact, I have customers who even stay out of the country, mm -hmm. but they can still do Biashara <coughs> in, 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 in Nairobi, Kenya, mm -hmm. just because Shikilia has made it possible for them. All right. Yeah. So Shikilia makes it possible for me to walk without luggage in the CBD, yeah. run my operations, and then come back for my luggage when I'm ready for it. Exactly. Shikilia stores make uh, can make me do business uh, when I'm not in Nairobi physically. Yes. I can keep my stock at Shikilia stores mm -hmm. and sell my stuff online, and then the, the the buyers can pick the stuff from the Shikilia stores. Exactly. So basically that. How, uh, where did the idea come from? How did you come up with this idea? Uh, actually, this is it came in 2013, mm -hmm. and uh, that was a time where I didn't have a job, and I was actually sleeping somehow on Hurupak. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the kind of inspiration that comes with a young man who is totally yes, you've been there, done that. Desperate, mm -hmm. <laughs> desperate, looking for a job, mm -hmm. and I was sleeping on Hurupak, and uh, as I was lying down somewhere, I saw a guy come with a bag. Mm -hmm. He lied somewhere, not so far away from where I was, mm -hmm. I was and he kept his bag just along him, he, where he was sleeping. And, uh -huh. you know, he fell asleep. Uh -huh. And uh, I saw some other guys came, they monitored the guy, and they realized the guy, this guy is asleep. Uh -huh. And this uh, came, took a bag, and went with it. And now that's what I thought. Is there no somewhere in CBD that you can just keep a luggage uh -huh. instead of coming with it at, in the, at the Huru Park? Uh -huh. And that's where the, the, the idea fully right. started. Then you just started thinking. Yeah. Uh, and then your thoughts ran wild. Uh -huh. Exactly, you know, uh -huh. I came to learn there's no place like that, uh -huh. and that's the idea that I kept for myself, never shared with someone apart mm -hmm. from only my brother. Uh -huh. I just told that uh, I'm thinking of doing this and this, and he's like, That's a good idea, maybe mm -hmm. you should go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. But you know, having the idea and actualizing it are two uh -huh. different things, all right? Yeah, so I'm really curious to know uh, what, what was happening between 2013 when you had the idea to 2018 when you actually actualized. Uh, I said without a job, I think 2013, 2014, I didn't have a job. Mm -hmm. I got a job 
beginning of 2015 mm -hmm. and uh, that's the time I tried to save a few coins here and there mm -hmm. but you try to save you know there's a certain oh, need you comes found up. a job yeah, I finally found a job. <laughs> <All right. coughs> I finally found a job uh -huh. because I actually did uh, project management in college. Mm -hmm. So I finally found a job. I was used to work at Galleria Management, uh, mm -hmm. Galleria Mall, uh -huh. uh, trying to save a few coins in there mm -hmm. so that I can start. But even before I start the business, here comes the wedding. Uh -huh. I do the wedding and the, every coin that oh, I so had. So you're married now? Yeah, I'm married. Oh, congratulations. And, uh, eh? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a father. Uh, you're a father. Like a you're brother. a family man. <laughs> I feel like I'm a muse. All right. But anyway. Uh, so what I had, I used it to the wedding, and I, I was left nothing with mm -hmm. nothing. I stayed, few, I tried to save again, but mm -hmm. I realized if I may try to save until I start a business, uh -huh. I may never do it. Uh -huh. And that at the point, I thought I should uh, look for a potential investor mm -hmm. or someone who could buy to the idea, mm -hmm. so that you know I let a person me could get an idea to find And um, I had so much faith actually uh -huh. that I could start it. And what I did faith is faith is a very key ingredient when you I think when you want is. to start a business. I, it surely is. <laughs> it surely right. is. And I started looking for a space in C B D and I had several <coughs> several potential spaces that I could, that I thought this mm -hmm. could be an ideal. Mm -hmm. And the best that I got, I decided, you know what? I'm going to look for the owner of this building. Mm -hmm so that they can, she or he can allow me to do business without uh, paying the rent for at least six months. Mm -hmm. And then maybe after six months, Nyeza Kumbulipa rent uh -huh. together with the, re the rest of the rent. Is, yeah. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Uh, and, then, and that's really actually what pushed me. All right. This, so this is what you are uh, walking around the city trying to, trying to find? Yes, yes. All and right. I finally found the space, uh -huh. I decided to look for the owner of the building. Uh -huh. And I know you know you go to the management of the building, they uh -huh. are, you ask them, who is the owner? They're like, who do you want the owner? You know? What do you want to it say? Was such a, it was very tough to get the owner, by the uh -huh. way. And if, when I finally came to know where her office is, uh -huh. I stormed in the office uh -huh. every Tuesday. Every Tuesday I was there. I'm here, I want to, look, I want to meet this madam. Uh -huh. And the PA is like, write a letter. Uh -huh. I write a letter and then the following Tuesday, did you find my letter? <laughs> you know, I pushed it. Persistence is also a key ingredient when, you, when very you're it's venturing into a honestly business. Honestly, it is. Uh -huh. And I honestly, and I say this with, with no fear of contradiction, uh -huh. I think it's because I pushed it that uh -huh. it happened. I was there every Tuesday. Uh -huh. For several weeks, uh, the PA tells me, uh, although I had a she was very busy that particular time, uh -huh. uh, I came to learn that later that she was pretty busy, uh -huh. and that's probably why it took that long. Uh -huh. But I think if I didn't persist, uh -huh. I probably could not, have, could not have ever met the lady. Uh -huh. And when I met the lady, I gave her the proposal. No, when I met the lady, uh -huh. you know, initially I had the idea of asking her to allow me to operate in her biashara, in uh -huh. her building, uh -huh. for at least six months without paying the rent. Uh -huh. uh, but again, I thought, why could I just ask her to come as an investor? Uh -huh. And I had these two ideas, and I uh -huh. said, I'm going to go, I'm gonna give her this. If uh -huh. you don't take this, I tell her. Take this one. Take this one. <laughs> So you give somebody a deal they can't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, honestly, the idea mm -hmm. that I gave her first that was, would you come as an investor, mm -hmm. she bought the idea. All right. Oh, yeah, she did. And that, uh, that is after you told her uh, the vision that you had and everything that you wanted to do. Exactly. All right, so mm -hmm. this is why you believed your brother was telling you the truth when he told you this is a good idea. Uh, this is a good idea. <laughs> this is a good idea. Right. And actually, even before I started, uh -huh. I think I invested a little money uh -huh. because I did some a bit of pre feasibility study just to check the, 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 the readiness of the market uh -huh. or the, how the reception, how could people mm -hmm. buy the idea or how could they take it? Uh -huh. And so I was pretty sure I did, uh, I interviewed at least a thousand people in, the uh -huh. in, in Nairobi uh -huh. before I started, or before even I gave the idea, the proposal. All right, how were you carrying out these interviews? Did you have like a questionnaire or were you just approached yes, random I, I, people and just... No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I had a questionnaire. Uh -huh. And not because me, I'm not a person who can approach anybody and uh -huh. ask you, hey, how are you, what's your name, uh -huh. can you do this and this? Me, I'm not that kind of a person. Uh -huh. So I engaged a lady who uh -huh. I knew as, she's such a sanguine, uh -huh. she can talk to anybody. Uh -huh. I told her, you know what? I want so you, you to recruited a research team? <laughs> yeah, I, I, actually, I, there were two ladies. Uh -huh. One is called Rebecca, and another she's called Maggie. And I told her, I told them, you know what? This is what I want you guys to do. Mm -hmm. How much will you charge me? Mm -hmm. We agreed on the figure. I told them, go ahead. Oh, and yeah. then when they gave back, I, they gave me a month uh -huh. to give me the feedback. And when they gave back, I went through every questionnaire uh -huh. just to see what the people say. Uh -huh. And no one at all, at any point, said that they couldn't use it. All right. There. Nobody, ev everybody knew felt like they need the service in the city. They CBD. felt they needed it. Uh -huh. And surely it's needed. 
All right, I'm very interested in the research part because not so many people are going to go into a business after doing some feasibility studies. Uh, how, how did you get to know about all this? I need some feasibility study before I get into a business. How did you, uh, how, how, how did you get to know about all these things in the business world? Uh, I think it's because of my background, as I told you, I had done mm -hmm. uh, project management, mm -hmm. and that, those are some of the things that we, you know, we learn that even if you're engaged in a pro pro project, mm -hmm. you need a feasibility, there's pre feasibility study, there's feasibility mm -hmm. study, uh -huh. and all that. Just because I didn't have money to do the, the detailed feasibility study, uh -huh. I just needed, uh, just, needed to, uh, just to feel the, uh, just to know the feeling. Mm -hmm. How could Quagrao people, it exactly, <laughs> uh, how could people, uh -huh. You know, accept this. Uh -huh. What they, who, what would be their concerns? Uh -huh. And one of the things that was main concern of everybody, uh -huh. security, uh -huh. that will be will my item be safe in your store. Uh -huh. The other point is hours. Uh -huh. What time will you guys? What will time will you guys be opening? What time will you guys be closing? Mm -hmm. uh, will you guys be screening the items that come to the store? Mm -hmm. And you know, at that time, there is this worry of al shababs and uh -huh, everything. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And that's even today, if you bring an item, you just don't accept it. You have to screen it and know uh -huh. you're not bringing us a grenade. You know. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, I think because of my feasibility study, mm -hmm. and um, I have to be honest with you and say. I think me and Noah have been gifted in business, so uh -huh. there's a lot I read about business. You may uh -huh. not find me with a notebook, with a with a novel, uh -huh. but you may find me reading so many articles for business articles. All right. Yeah. So this is what you use your free time for. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think so I don't have a free time. I'm getting for you though. <laughs> uh -huh. Persistence is very important. True. Faith is also a very important ingredient, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, reading is also a very important ingredient. And also, I think believing in what you're doing. Believing in what you're yeah, doing. Because if I didn't believe in the idea I had, uh -huh. I probably could not have gone ahead. Actually, yeah. Because right. I came on. We have a summary of what uh, you <laughs> have going on right there. Oh, yes. And uh, this is like a graphical representation of what happens at Chiclia Store. Exactly. So drop and pick a point. Exactly. Luggage storage, mm -hmm. online business storage space, yes. business space fee. Yeah, business space for as low as 3000 all right. We also uh, do errors and deliveries. Uh -huh. uh, those are errors uh -huh. and those are deliveries. Errands and fast deliveries. So these are the the key six pillars of Shikilia store. Exactly, yes. All right. Business space. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm concerned. Business about. space uh -huh. is, uh, assume you sell, uh, I love watches, uh -huh. watches online. I love watches as well. Man. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, if you sell watches uh -huh. online, most likely, uh -huh. Until now the Shikilia came into the, uh, into the existence, uh -huh. everybody had their stock in the house. Mm -hmm. You make your sale, you identify a watch online, you call mm -hmm. the guy, I want such particular watch, and they'll tell you, let's meet tomorrow at 10, uh -huh. that I may give you the watch. Uh -huh. So that is inconvenience. That's inconvenience. Uh -huh. But now Shikilia gives you this chance, uh -huh. you can make an instant sale. Uh -huh. Hey, I want that watch, uh -huh. or oh, you need it, go pick at Shikilia. Yeah. So you just come and rent a small space in my, uh -huh. in my store and uh -huh. uh, you pay as low as 3000 I have different sizes of uh, s spaces because, you know, people sell different stuff and they require different sizes uh -huh. of storage. So you just come pay as low as 3000 per month, you keep your stock mm -hmm. and you go ahead and sell. All right. Yeah. These catchphrases, I only see them uh, under big co uh, corporation name. <laughs> uh, safe, secure and convenient. <laughs> How did you come up with this? And honestly, that's what uh -huh. be honest with you. <coughs> I struggled, we struggled with the name. Uh -huh. Something that we didn't struggle uh -huh. is a slogan. Uh -huh. It was so obvious that we have to sell safety, we have to sell convenience, and uh -huh. we have to sell security. So, so it's so easy for us. Safety, key secure, and convenient. Safety, yeah. secu uh, uh, security, and, and convenience. convenience. Exactly. These are some things you got from your feasibility study. These were the ma major uh, these concerns. These were the major concerns uh -huh. of the response that I got. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So from the research, you could package your brand nicely. So research is also a very key ingredient <coughs> in is. business. It is. It is. It is. All right. Wonderful. Uh, so fast deliveries, uh, errand handlers. So what kind of errands have you gotten so far to handle? Uh, it's amazing how we can get we can get <laughs> crazy. crazy and crazy. Uh -huh. <coughs> I think as, as we were starting, uh -huh. some of the things that we have done, I never saw or thought I could do them. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, that's why we came now, we have come up with a broad promise, mm -hmm. convenience at, at the extent of the definition. Uh -huh. That's our broad promise today. So you define the convenience, we shall deliver. <laughs> so, uh, so if it does not match the Shikilia convenience definition, then we are sorry we can't deliver no, no, this no. time. Right? Convenience uh -huh. at the extent of its definition. Uh -huh. So you define it, uh -huh. we shall do it. So the uh -huh. point is this. Uh, we don't want to give you what you what we need to give you. Uh -huh. 
We want to give you what you need us to give you. Uh -huh. uh, a funny, a funny kind of a, a career we did. Mm -hmm. the, this one day, uh, a lady called us, told us, you know what? Me, I met Kitegela. Mm -hmm. I thought I would manage to come to town, but I don't think I'll make it. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting a house girl mm -hmm. from Igori mm -hmm. who does not own Nairobi. It's her first time to come to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. How would you help us? And I told her, you know what? Actually, you give her our contact. When she comes to Nairobi, let her call us. So we went, picked her from Country Bus mm -hmm. and took her to Rainbow Shuttle, uh -huh. Matatuza Kitengela. Uh -huh. And now we told her, we took her, we went, took her to the stage of Kitengela. She went. We charged for that service. <coughs> you see. That's so what how we, do you even come up with a price tag for such a service? It was tough at, at the moment, <laughs> at, at the beginning. And actually, well, now you've learned. <laughs> we have changed our prices uh -huh. every now and then, every uh -huh. now and then. Because when you're starting, you're like, oh, give me a hundred. Uh -huh. And I have to do you like, oh, that was such a hassle. Uh -huh. So next time you add. So you learn from it. You learn from it. Exactly. Right. And then you Is that like a book where you keep all these services that you have delivered to the people? Oh, yeah. Right. So we, there's a I record have, of everything you've I done. Have, I, have, I have so many books. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have. Everything that we do have to be recorded. Has to be recorded. And uh -huh. also at the same time, I have, uh, I have a computerized system uh -huh. where, for example, if you bring a luggage, uh -huh. we just don't keep it. Uh -huh. We key in the system. Uh -huh. We have a computerized system uh -huh. where we key in your details and we key in the details of probably the person coming to pick the item. Uh -huh. And we give you a specific particular unique code mm -hmm. where the customer coming to pick the item uh -huh. shall have to come with that particular code that we may give uh -huh. him or her the item. Right. That's one. For the error so that part, is for security right there. That's for security. Mm -hmm. And there's no way. And actually, since we started, we mm -hmm. have never had an issue of the ambiguity of the items, uh -huh. where probably you brought a watch, uh -huh. another customer brought a watch, uh -huh. and probably we give you his or her watch instead uh -huh. of you giving you your watch. Because you have a code for you everything. You have the, a code, uh -huh. a unique one. Uh -huh. A unique code. That so when I'm an online uh, dealer, so all my items in your store have a code. Yes, so do. I'll tell you a customer is coming to pick uh, this and this code. And this and this code. And this and this number exactly. of items from this and this code. If the customer is specific. If the customer is not specific, just uh -huh. tell us. Customer is coming to pick one watch. Uh -huh. Just show them the watch, uh -huh. whichever they, they choose. Wonderful. Just make sure they pay. All right, so uh, this error and part is where you've come to learn about so many needs that people have in the CBD that have not been so met. Many, uh -huh. So many, so many. That I personally never thought. You know, when we were starting, I just thought you tell me deliver the issue there, uh -huh. this and there. Until one day, I was asked by a customer, you go pick a check a certain place, uh -huh. go bank it. I was like, oh, wow, that's a good one. I never thought I could do it, but that's not technical. So I just wow. sent my guy, you go pick the item. Uh -huh. Yeah. So... Uh, uh, some of these things we have come to learn in mm -hmm. the job. Yeah. Right, what is one, cra one crazy thing that you've had to keep in your stores? To keep in our store? Yeah, something that you never the imagined you could keep uh, within the, the premise. Uh, Omena. Omena. <laughs> 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 right, so, uh, uh, it must have smelled lovely. Eh? Well, it's it's, it's kind of crazy. Uh, Someone's in Kisumu, uh -huh. and I think. It must be in Kisumu. <laughs> it must have been in Kisumu. <laughs> right. Someone's in Kisumu, and I think she was to travel to Nairobi. Uh -huh. But something happened when she was at the bus station. Uh -huh. And then she called us and told us, uh -huh. I was to come. Uh -huh. But I have some women that I'm supposed to bring to my brother. Uh -huh. You go pick them from the bus station, uh -huh. deliver, uh, keep them in your store, she will come, he will come pick. Mm -hmm. And I went, okay, Zikafika Narobi, we went to pick them, mm -hmm. we brought them to Shikilia. And then the, the brother said, are you guys bring them? I will uh -huh. not come for them. Uh -huh. and that, that's why it stood out a lot. And also uh -huh. they were really, the smell was... It was a little bit strong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit strong. All right. Oh, so yeah. you le you are learning a lot in this business, and you are learning the needs that uh, that Nairobians have that have never been met. What is the vision with uh, the business in the long run? Oh, the vision is broad, man. I have uh -huh. to be honest with you and tell you, it scares me. Yeah, it, it scares, scares me. It uh -huh. scares me. Just another day, I was with my mentor and my partner, uh -huh. and we were discussing uh, the, the the rolling down of this year. And it's already scary so far. Mm -hmm. It's scary just because maybe maybe just because for one thing that I feel is that wow, am I really am I this capacitated to do this? Uh -huh. Because it's quite huge. Uh -huh. uh, as a matter of fact, we'll be opening. Uh, let me don't mention the town, uh -huh. but by April 9th, we'll be launching our next Your second branch. store. Uh -huh. Yeah, outside Nairobi, of course. Uh -huh. So we'll be opening a branch in outside Nairobi in one of the towns that we, sh we shall have soon. Uh -huh. uh, we, we have several other projects prod um, uh, project uh -huh. coming up. Uh, uh -huh. Amazing products, actually. Mm -hmm. So very soon again, mm -hmm. I think it will be. A so bit the six pillars might be eight sometimes. 
Uh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Right. We just make sure that we are at the disposal of you as our customer. Mm -hmm. That you can, you can use us in any way that you want. Right. As a matter of fact, let me tell you one thing that one funny error or service that I got that I never thought. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, there's this lady who had an interview. She had a kid. Mm -hmm. And maybe I don't know whether the house girl disappointed or something. You have had to keep a baby in the store as well. I know, the, the lady came and told us, I, thought, I think she thought we keep kids or something. Uh -huh. I don't know what she thought. I know she came and told us, now, I want to leave this baby here. I go for an interview. Wow. I don't know. No, we don't keep kids. You know, we don't keep babies. Uh -huh. But the good thing, it was a boy. It was around four, five years. Uh -huh. so the kid was very interactive. Uh -huh. And I told the lady, no, imagine we don't keep babies. Uh -huh. First of all, you don't have that license. Uh -huh. for, you know, the license we have is for luggages. All right, then so the baby is we nothing just can't do this. And she's like, what will you help me? And I told her, you know what? Just leave the baby. Uh -huh. You go for the interview. Mm -hmm. I didn't even charge the lady anything. Uh -huh. I j but it was such a fulfilling thing to see solving that need to her. Uh -huh. you know, just giving her the chance to go for an interview mm -hmm. and then she come get her kid much later. Uh -huh. It was such a fulfilling thing. That is one very, day you very, felt fulfilled very. when you got home and, after one. And I made sure I could not pick a coin. She tried to pay me to say thank you, uh -huh. you know, but she has referred so many customers to us. Wonderful right there. That is good business right there. And uh, that is power of the word of mouth. Thank you. All right. Uh, how can they find you on social, on social media? Uh, on the social media, mm -hmm. Facebook, Shikilia Store. That mm -hmm. is uh, on Twitter again, Shikilia Store. On Instagram, Shikilia Store. On Instagram, Shikilia Store, Shikilia Store everywhere. Everywhere. All right. So, store. just in case they'd like to contact you uh, directly. Directly, we have several, we have two lines mm -hmm. in the other uh, store. One is Safaricom zero seven eighty five triple seven double zero seven. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one is Orange, that is zero triple seven zero seven seven zero seven five. All right. Yeah. Uh, job openings. Our viewers are already asking for <laughs> for jobs. Do you have job openings coming soon? Actually, yesterday I announced one. Oh, you announced one. Yeah. So they head straight to your social media. Yeah, I announced I announced a rider's position because uh -huh. I did a rider for deliveries. Uh -huh. And amazing thing is that I got ninety six applications. Wow. Ninety six. Kenyans are hungry. Yeah. They, and it's very disappointing to learn that yesterday, for the last five years, two point two business has been closed down. So some of those are things that are really disturbing. Right. But so sometimes the, the stories that might discourage you, uh, but always remember your business is unique in its own way. Oh, yeah. And you have to solve the need. Right. Mm. The big question today on our, on our Facebook is, uh, do you prefer shopping at a shopping mall or Meleduka Hamtan? Which one works for you? Me? Uh -huh. I think I buy almost everything uh -huh. from Shikilea. From she <laughs> <laughs> because I actually have like everybody selling everything. everything that oh yes. So you also promote your customers yourself. I actually don't buy. I think the only thing I buy from supermarket maybe the normal food stuff. So but everything, clothing, uh -huh. clothing, anything, uh -huh. I buy from Shikilia. I honestly have everybody selling anything, and I keep on saying actually, mm -hmm. if you have some money in turn you need to spend, come to Shikilia. That is the best answer I've got <laughs> <laughs> for our question on social media oh, yes. uh, ever. That is the best answer ever. Thank you very much for coming through to Why in the Morning. Thank we you, appreciate sir. you. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep providing, uh, providing employment for the Kenyan youth. Thank and you. uh, keep uh, breaking the boundaries as well. Absolutely. All right, yes, we have come to the end of this interview, the first interview of the day. Uh, Kama umejipata tau kuna mzigo, amu kuna online store, you need some storage. Uh, find Shikilia guys on social media at Shikilia. Store. Shikilia Store on Instagram and on Facebook as well. You'll get sorted. My name is Barry Moses or it's Barry Moses. Social media platform Hillary is coming up next with another interview. Don't go nowhere.